Hello everyone. Today on Vicky's Gaming Thoughts, I wanted to talk about the tentacles. Yay! Tentacles! Yay! I've referenced them before and um, some of you have experienced them firsthand. So I'll, and I'll be referencing them again in the future. So I wanted to let everyone know so that you guys know what they are, what their behavior is, <laughs> and stuff like that. Like, it, like it's this whole big thing. Um, I'm outside, figured I'd have some fresh air and test the touch pads, uh, lighting. I'm in my backyard, kind of snowy, not much of a garden yet. We have plans for that. So anyway, so, so with the, it started, I was in Star Wars, the old Republic and we were on the planet Oricon. Uh, I was with several members of my guild and we were just walking around and on Oricon, if you don't play SWTOR, there are these giant tentacles that appear at some point. So we fight them and then we're just walking past and they decide to respawn right where I'm standing. But they don't attack anyone else. They attack me and I was on, I was on Rosie. I was on my main Rosie. I aggroed them. And then, so we fight them and then we're walking somewhere else and you know, everyone passes near where tentacles are and the tentacles don't notice them. I pass, you know, at this exact same spot, poof, they attack, they attack me, they attack Rosie. So, so every, and then, and then it wasn't just that day, every time they would respawn on top of Rosie, they would attack Rosie, no matter what I was doing, I was just standing there all innocent and poof, like, <laughs> so, so it started to become a joke because then I was on my healer and the tentacles were attacking. And then I was on someone else and the tentacles were attacking. And then it wasn't just on Oricon, we're at CZ and the tentacle grabs me. You know, grabs Rosie and stuff like that. So it became this thing that was like, oh, Rosie and the tentacles, you know, all this... Rosie and the tentacles again. Rosie's aggroing the tentacles. And then it wasn't just tentacles. Rosie was just aggroing everything. <laughs> Which was kind of annoying <laughs> when you're just trying to get by a little bit incognito. So, but then something strange happened with Rosie and the tentacles. One of my guild members started blaming Rosie and the tentacles. If there were lags in the game, I blame Rosie and the tentacles. If something was glitching or something wasn't working well, oh, I blame Rosie and the tentacles. And then it wasn't just in the game. My toast burnt. Oh, I blame Rosie and the tentacles. I can't find my socks. Oh, it's because of Rosie and the tentacles. Like it, it became a running gag. And poor Rosie. <laughs> and so, so it became a running gag, Rosie and the tentacles all the time. And then, so the tentacles kind of took on a personality. And so Rosie, well, me, became the master of the tentacles. And then I was controlling them. And then I was unleashing them. And so I was pretending that I was doing it on purpose. So if you heard something strange in your living room at night lurking in the corner, it's probably the tentacles I sent to spy on you. If you're feeling watched and you see something from the tree, it's probably the tentacles. You know, stuff like that. But then beyond that, I tried to tame the tentacles. And at some point they stopped obeying me. They, st <laughs> they stopped obeying me. And so someone else tried to tame them. And someone else adopted them and tried to control them and, and unleash them back upon me. But it was still uh, Rosie and the tentacles. But then the thing is, the, the tentacles, they, they refused any master. They went from master to master. I tried to tame them again to get gain control of them again. And now they're just out of control. They started, uh, you know, multiplying, spawning everywhere. And, uh, oh, look, a tentacle. No. <laughs> you know, they, they, they just, I lost control. I lost control of the tentacles. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> And uh, so that, that's kind of the story of the tentacles. I actually wrote like a, a little uh, fanfic blog about it, uh, explaining the story uh, with, uh, with some images. I think I'll post some of the images in this video 
so that you guys can see the, the Oricon tentacles and, and Rosie aggroing. But that's, that's ultimately, in short, the story of Rosie and the tentacles. So now you guys know. And because uh, I may reference them again in the future, they might decide to pay you a visit. It wasn't me. I didn't send them. I've lost control of them. I don't know who masters them. I don't think I don't think they have a master right now. I don't I don't think. Uh, but if you're able to master the tentacles and gain control of them, let me know. I'll be very happy to let you try to tame them. So so that's that. <laughs> So that was like a little uh, gaming story time just to put you guys into context because uh, the tentacles will come up because they always do because they're always there lurking in the shadows watching us all. So yeah, like this video if you like it. It'll be approved by the tentacles. Uh, share it with, uh, with tentacle friends. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. The tentacles will approve of that too. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out some of my other stuff and remember to buy video games at a discounted price and support me at no additional cost to you just follow my g2a affiliate link to learn more how that can help you as well you can watch my full explanation video on that thanks for tuning in